Assalamu alaikum my people Welcome to a new video of E-Cannon It's currently 5.20 in the morning So we're here It's just before Fajr So we're off to the park I want to show you guys the importance of Fajr I want to show you guys the different baraka Of how what it is to just wake up this early and not only lift the blanket, but do a step above and uh, grab a training session inshallah. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm just gonna do a quick session to get a pump, give you guys some reminders and just so, show you guys how beautiful it is to be outside at this time, even though it's real hard because everybody likes the comfort of sleep. So let's see and uh, watch the video, like, comment and uh, see you guys at the park, man. So yes, we are at the big boy park. And everybody that thinks, EK, you have discipline, EK, you like to train. Believe me, I don't like to be here right now when I sleep. But Alhamdulillah, I do have the discipline to always show up. These are the important days, man. Believe me. Also, let me read out the hadith for you guys. The importance of Qiyamul Layl, so the one third of the night just before Fajr. It says in Sahih Muslim 758b. Abu Huraira reported that Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was saying Allah descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the first part of the night is over and says I am the Lord, I am the Lord. Who is there to supplicate me so that I answer him? Who is there to beg of me so that I grant him? Who is there to beg forgiveness from me so that I forgive him? He continues like this till the day breaks. So if we want something from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and we don't use moments like this, then we don't want it bad enough so this is the right time to make your dua make your prayers ask everything from Allah because dua is the power to your dreams into reality so let's go I'm gonna warm up a little quick wait for it to be a little bit more light so we can pray Fajr and then I'm gonna start the session inshallah and after that head back straight home because I'm gonna catch my sleep again so yeah we just decided to go for a little walk because it's still too dark to film uh, my sets you you guys won't be able to see it properly but as we're walking it's just crazy to hear the sound of the birds and also to, to just stand still by a little things and the only people that I see outside were people fishing or people walking out their dog and I can tell you guys these people have a better understanding of the morning than we do and we claim to worship Allah and we find it hard to wake up for Fajr to wake up for Qiyamul Layl to wake up for Tahajjud well these guys are just waking up for the sake of their dog to walk them outside so for me now I see it differently it's a challenge against them so if I sleep and don't wake up for Fajr I just get in my mind I lost to the guy with the dog he, his dog has more importance than I, than I uh, than my creator has for me so now it's a challenge believe me if you walk outside and you see little things like this I will never miss Fajr inshallah again man like on purpose you have to always set your alarm and have the intention of waking up for Fajr never sleep on purpose to miss Fajr so inshallah I'm gonna make more content like this and hopefully this video inspire a lot of people to wake up during Fajr even before Fajr to grab a session or just walk outside get some fresh air in believe me it will do you good man it's therapy therapy we'll get a quick rest and hear the sound of the birds man and we'll uh, look at the bats Batman <laughs> what I just mean by that the people that walk out their dog is they just value their morning more than we do we just quickly pray and go back to sleep or they just go outside I don't know to catch some rest and believe me guys if you guys will do this you will have a lot of more baraka in your day man just you know try it out man let's see <laughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إلى الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله so Alhamdulillah we prayed Fajr, we prayed the two Sunnah before Fajr that's more important and has more value than the whole world and everything inside it Alhamdulillah So we did that and now it's time for me to warm up and uh, grab a session man because now I feel the power is different Alhamdulillah we just prayed, now it's time to get some work in after that catch some rest at home 
that we deserve, alhamdulillah. <laughs> So I just did my warming up. I can't lie, I'm already done. <laughs> because uh, I just woke up, yeah? But the session of today, I'm gonna do a push, pull, push, pull workout. So I'm gonna start with 10 dips. Then I'm gonna do 10 L-sit pull-ups, 10 diamond push-ups, and 10 Australian pull-ups again. So as I said, push, pull, push, pull. And I'm gonna try that for a couple sets, five, five to six sets. After that, some little skill work, because I like to do my skills, some handstands, some front leave some muscle ups and then i will call it a day because yeah during fajr i don't want to make the most intense workout for me it's just important that i show up and just do some things get a little active get a get a quick pump then go back home again that's the plan for today man let's start bismillah one two three nine then. I'm gonna do the L-sit pull-ups close grip as well because I will do the push-ups also on diamonds. So we just do close this uh, this session. One, two. Ten. Straight back to back, no rest. And I'm not doing the diamonds like this, but more lean forward. So my hands. Get to my waistline. Sometimes you have to change it up. One, two. Nine, ten. Back to back again, no rest. One, two. Nine, ten. So this is set one, now you deserve to rest. So you can catch a break for 30 seconds to one minute and then we start again. Four, five, six sets, doesn't matter what you want. It's 40 reps in total. Usually on a normal day I do 10 sets, so I have 400 reps just in one uh, round of exercise. So I just did the uh, course, alhamdulillah, went well, it was heavy, especially the L-sit pull-ups, 10 reps, it was heavy, but now with the uh, fatigued muscles, I always do the skill work, because when we're fresh and have the full power, the skills will go more easy. So I'm gonna start with a couple handstands, let's see how the first one goes. Almost fell on my face. <laughs> so if you guys are a fan of calisthenics and you are from the day one like a couple years ago, if you were checking out different YouTubers of calisthenics, you should know who Spark this is, man. <laughs> It was a killer session. Believe me guys, 
if you try this out so after this i'm gonna go back to home grab a quick nap almost seven in the morning so i think i will sleep until 12 or 11 and then my day starts so subhanallah i've done this in the past a couple times it just look like looks like you have two days but it's just one day so you get the most out of your day so that's why i say if you woke wake up during fajr and you go outside you will have much more barakah in your day so the first lap was the, is done now i'm gonna go to the pit stop get a quick rest to repair and after 12 o'clock the second day begins alhamdulillah so i'm just a lap ahead of everybody while they sleep we work and while they work we work again and again and again and again and we stay consistent no matter what time it is no matter what weather it is no matter what situation we always keep showing up alhamdulillah so i hope you guys get inspired by this like comment subscribe and uh, see you guys inshallah on the next video and also check out the socials man you guys have been asking me all the time uh, ek where can i get the aura covers it's on full force man link in my bio make sure you grab it be a member of the full force army and i see you guys in the next video inshallah salute